Thank you very much, Blake. Gotta love a good evening of basketball across the entire state. Gotta also love a beautiful evening across the valley here looking right now from our DHR Health Camera over in Edinburgh. Temperature wise, we're going to be seeing very pleasant temperatures for the evening. If you have any plans going out to dinner, spending time with family or friends, weather will not be a factor as far as interrupting those. In fact, you may even see something beautiful up in the sky uh, sometime by around noon ish tomorrow. We will actually be around the full moon for the snow moon. That's the second month of the year. Uh, it's given that name because typically February is the snowiest month of the year across the country. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with that down here. But cloud wise, we're actually going to be able to see a good chunk of it and enjoy uh, how pretty it looks. It was still waxing uh, when I was going through the valley last night and this morning and it looks quite pleasant. And speaking of quite pleasant, we're going to continue with quite pleasant overnight lows into the 50s for most of us across the valley. Tomorrow going throughout our Sunday, we'll start to see plenty of sunny skies by the time we get towards around noon and then into the afternoon hours we could be knocking around that 80 degree temperature and some areas specifically in the mid and upper valley is still sitting in the mid 70s uh, closer towards the lower valley but generally speaking we're not looking at too many concerns other than the fog both tomorrow morning and Sunday night into Monday morning as well fog is going to burn off after both of those days but the other thing that we're tracking ahead of our next cold front that we're looking at are gustier winds that will start by the time we get into Monday afternoon so here's a wider view of what we're tracking and when we're going to start anticipating the changes to our weather. We're going past Sunday into Monday again. That's when we're going to really start to see those windy conditions coming up across the valley. Here's that next cold front that we're tracking moving closer and closer towards us and that will then spark the chance for a couple of rain showers as it passes the valley on Wednesday and a couple of rumbles of thunderstorm uh, thunder can't be ruled out there. Temperatures tonight expected to fall into the low 50s for most of us across the valley. Out at the island, a low rip current risk but a high UV index is expected as temperatures make their way close to that 70 degree mark. A light chop at the bay is also expected by the time we get towards the afternoon. Daytime highs tomorrow expected to be in the upper 70s for most of us. Again, near that 80 degree mark, the further up into the valley that we go. Then over the next seven days, we're going to start to see 80 degrees for everyone. By the time we get towards Monday and Tuesday, then we're going to start to see that cold front pa uh, pass through passing by bringing that rain shower chances, cooling us down into the 60s and 70s to finish off the rest of the week across the valley.